We're doing a review today on the Maxpedition VersaPack, and this is the Jumbo. This is a great everyday carry bag for, uh, for a multitude of different purposes you can use. It's a the gear slinger style. It's got this one strap, so you can just put it on and go. This is the basic Jumbo, and it's in green and khaki. It comes in a lot of different colors. Uh, go to the Maxpedition website to check out the different colors. Also, it comes in an EDC version, and it comes in a law enforcement version as well. This is the this is the khaki jumbo, but it's the type S, which is intended to be carried on your left side instead of the right side like the standard. Had the bag about a year and a half. Still looks brand new. The primary reason I bought it was an everyday carry for my camera. And I'm not carrying my full camera set. Uh, it's got my get home stuff, lots of compartmentalization, lots of organization. Obviously, a full size Nalgene bottle can go here. Uh, mine was pre carry handle, so I added my own with a couple of grommets and a Cobra stitch. Absolutely love it. Again, Type S on my left. It's just where I like to carry my bag. The pouches, sunglasses on top, Nalgene. Extra pouches, CCW in the back. Great organization like all the Maxpedition products. One thing, the reason I went left-handed is because if I am carrying concealed on my person, I like to have my right side open and the bag is on my left instead of carrying concealed from the bag. That's just the way I like to do things. Another nice feature that I really like is the rain fly. I have my cameras in here, get caught out in the rain, cinch it down, close it up, and I don't have to worry about my cameras getting wet. A really, really nice feature. And that's the main compartment too. Uh, these all have the YKK zippers, and again, the more you use them, the more they begin to be ease of use. Real sturdy. Fastex buckles. You can even put name patches, different things here. Uh, here again are the islands. This wicks the, a lot of the moisture off your body, allows air to flow in between. HK style, little clip here too. Uh, it does have a concealed carry compartment right here in the back with Velcro for the hook and loop, which is a holster with Velcro, which fits down in. It's a very secure fitting. Uh, Maxpedition does sell these holsters. They're really incredible little pieces. In fact, I had ordered one and hadn't gotten it yet. So uh, this one does have um, the carry handle. As John was talking about, that one did not, which he added. Now, one thing I want to talk about, these these bags can be used for so many different purposes. And I know that, you know, my main channel is for guns and for survival and things like that, but this bag can be carried for a multitude of reasons. And really, that's what it's all about, is carrying your stuff and using it not packing it away and stocking it up and putting it in your basement or your attic. This is gear that you can be proud to wear. In fact, you'll have more people ask you about this stuff. It's just incredible. I have just gotten this bag, and, uh, but I, John's had this for many, for, well, over a year and a half, and watching him carry it every day. And so uh, I was really excited about getting this. But here's the Fat Boy. And as you can see, the Fat Boy's smaller. This is, uh, of course, it does have this carry handle. It's got a lot of neat compartments. I'm going to do a review on this separately. But they're all padded. They all have a strap that goes around to give you extra stability if you want it. So uh, just these packs are so versatile and so user-friendly, uh, more than any other gear that I've come across. Talking about how much people like these bags, I went through, had to go through several security checkpoints a few weeks ago. And most of the officers that were checking my bag, I really don't think they were checking for what was in it. They were checking out the bag, and they all said, that's a nice bag. They all said. These are made with a DuPont uh, Teflon coating on them. That They are extremely water resistant. And uh, if any of you have seen my roly-poly review, you can see where I poured the water on it, and it just rolls off. I'm probably going to do a, a little demonstration of this uh, also to add into this video. These bags have been coated with triple polyurethane, so they are very water resistant. In fact, I'm going to show you. 
Look at it. It just just comes right, just wicks right off. It's just amazing. So I'm gonna tell you, this stuff is great. Then with the pocket in the pocket, which even adds extra protection, it's really a just an all-weather bag. But this keeps it whenever you have a, a shower or rain, you, you don't have to worry about your gear getting messed up. One of the things too that I want to show you that's a really cool feature is this bag inside a bag. And as you can see, this rain fly, and then it has this uh, shock cord, and you can pull this tight. The original video footage was done a couple of weeks ago, and I had just gotten my jumbo bag. So now I've had some experience with it, been using it a good bit. In fact, every day I've been working with it and trying to get it set up like I, I like it. But I uh, wanted to say a few things about uh, the specifics of the bag itself. This is a 1050 denier ballistic nylon. It's water resistant. It's triple poly coated uh, to resist water. In fact, I have a little demo with the water. It's just amazing. Uh, the zippers are YKK zippers and tracks. And as I've said, the more they're used, the smoother they get. They're the best of the best with paracord ties as well. Um, the buckles are Duraflex buckles, which are actually a little quieter than your standard Fastex buckle. A nice feature to have, um, you know, for whatever reason, but just to keep the noise down and keep your signature as low as possible while you're in the woods. Um, it has a, a DuPont Teflon fabric protector on it to keep the dirt and grime. In fact, you're not, you don't want to wash this bag. You want to just wipe it down with a damp cloth and let it uh, dry. So, you know, if it ever gets uh, dirty or wet. But just a great bag with um, just a lot of incredibly neat pockets. This is for the user. It's designed for the user. Uh, people that use these bags in their line of work are constantly giving uh, Maxpedition feedback. And people depend on these bags many times for their lives, these bags need to be the best of the best. Uh, with all the different pockets and the different features, they strive to make this the best bag on the market. Not only just a straight out bag, but also because it's so innovative and there's so many different things. And two, the bags look great. They just are so stylish and they really just have the look and feel of quality. But it's not just the out, outer appearance. It's everything that's put into this bag. And uh, I, I can't offer a better bag to you guys. You know, I have done reviews on earlier bags, and I still, if you're on a budget and you just need to get something to use, uh, there are some good bags out there that will hold up for sure. And, um, in fact, uh, like I say, I've got reviews on those bags. And I recommend that if you, you, know, you don't have the money, you want to do something a little low budget, definitely go with some of those bags um, on those reviews. But if you really want something that you can buy and stake your life and your daily use on without it failing you, you can't go wrong with Maxpedition. Now, the original VersaPak was the Fat Boy, which this is the Fat Boy. And I love this bag for everyday carry. In fact, this is what I carry. I'm going to do a separate review on this bag. This is my EDC. I've got a lot of stuff in here that I'm going to show you guys later. I'll do a separate review on that upcoming. Uh, I'm still tweaking it and getting it like I want it. Um, but this is the Jumbo, which was, this was requested a little bit larger than the Fat Boy. So they came out with the Jumbo. This was long awaited. It has actually, a you can put a larger size pistol in this concealed carry compartment. So, you know, that makes it the feature, a very nice feature. Even though this will fit most not full size framed handguns, it's tight. With this, you can put pretty much any kind of pistol plus magazines uh, if you want to get the hook and loop system, which is incredible. Now, this is my get home bag. And I will also do a separate review on the contents of this bag, which you can see it's full. I mean, these bags weigh empty 1.8 pounds. But now, <laughs> it's full. Two, what I like about these bags, you can throw them just on your shoulder. But if you're like me, if you ever had something on your shoulder and you move and it slips off, well, because of the padding on these, it's resistant to slipping, but it will slip. Then if you need to do something different, you can pull it over your shoulder, carry it. Of course, then you can come around with the waist strap. 
So you can build your system. Uh, then also you can just grab it by the grab handle. There are just a lot of different ways to carry these bags. Now by all means tell them Suits sent you. If you uh, use S-O-O-T-C-H in the coupon code, you get a 10% discount off of Maxpedition's website. Also, go into the reviews and tell them what you think about the bag. Uh, it's very important. It's a very good feedback for these guys. They listen. They add things. Just like this little drag handle. On the earlier version, no drag handle. Now, they're, they're just always innovative, hard-use gear. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic.